How great was it to see Tucker Carlson again last night? When honest people say what's true, calmly and without embarrassment, they become powerful. At the same time, the liars who've been trying to silence them shrink and they become weaker. That's the iron law of the universe. True things prevail. Amen. No one in America has demonstrated more courage in speaking truth to power than Tucker. Every night, Tucker challenged the Washington establishment, asked the tough questions no one else dared to ask, and held the ruling elite accountable for their actions. His popularity is a testament to the hunger in America for people willing to stand up and tell the truth. Tucker's ability to articulate what's good and evil was prescient Friday night at Heritage's 50th anniversary gala. Our country needs more Americans who live out their faith in the public square. Just listen to what he said. And the second you decide to tell the truth about something, you are filled with this power from somewhere else. The more you tell the truth, the stronger you become. I don't pray enough for the country, and I should. America also needs more courageous institutions and citizens, like Tucker, who are not afraid to call out hypocrisy on both sides of the political spectrum and challenge the lack of courage and truth in the swamp. As he so eloquently said to Heritage supporters, too many of our institutions today are run by weak people. His words so perfectly demonstrate this consequential moment when even the most popular host on primetime cable TV is canceled. As America's outpost in Washington, D.C., Heritage will always have Tucker's back, along with courageous citizens like him. The entire Heritage family is deeply upset, especially at suggestions Tucker's remarks may have been part of this decision. Millions of Americans deserve a clear explanation.